Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Problem 9.6. Statement of problem is that for the cantilever beam and loading shown determine the equation of elastic curve for portion of AB only of the beam D B part is deflection at point B so this is at point B and slope at point B so we have given loading and we have to find number A is equation of elastic curve for a b portion of the beam for a b of the beam not for the whole beam for a b of the beam clear and this equation is y is the function of x in part b we have been asked to find deflection at point b and in part c we have given to find the slope at point so let's start with the solution now you can see the beam and the loading given over here so first of all you will find the reaction force at the fixed support where if we remove this yeah, fixed support so there will be a reaction R A at fixed support and there will be a moment at point A there so we will solve it by using equilibrium methods in order to find this unknown so I will draw the free body diagram of the beam that is shown over here. So here at point A there will be a reaction sub support reaction force R A. There will be a moment at point A. Now there is a distributed load. So when you want to convert this distributed load into concentrated load, so W and multiply by total length, and that will be equal to W L over and this load will be acting at the middle of this L by 2 so this will be L by 4 here similarly this load is also be at the half of this L by 2 so this will be W L over 2 and from this point till this point this distance is L by 4 now from this point till this point this distance is L by 2 so from this point to this point this distance will be L by 2 plus L by 4 which is equal to 3 L by 4 here yeah. so we, we will apply the equilibrium condition using this is point A this is point B and this is point C clear so using A B C of beam as free body diagram We will apply the first equilibrium condition that is sum of all force in our y direction must be equal to zero and what force is positive. Now you can see there are three forces one is R A and other is W L by 2 and W L by 2. So R A is upward minus W L by 2 is downward plus this third force is W L by 2 is upward. Their sum must be equal to zero. So it will cancel with each other. So R A will be equal to 0. Clear? Now we will apply the moment. Second equation that sum of all moment about point A is equal to 0. And counterclockwise moment is positive. So you can see at point A there is a moment. M A. Clear? There is a moment that is given as m a okay so m a now due to this force there will be a moment in clockwise direction and this is also clockwise so it will be minus minus w into l by 2 is the load and perpendicular distance is 
L by 4. Clear? Plus this due to this force there will be movement in counterclockwise direction it will be plus so W L over 2 into perpendicular distance is 3 L by 4. You can see this is the perpendicular distance 3 L by 4. Their sum must be equal to 0. So when you solve it this M A comes out to be minus W L square over 4. Clear? Now we have both reaction force as well as uh, movement at point A. Clear? So we are moving toward finding the equation of elastic curve for A B region. Clear? So using uh, so what we will do is that again if I show you the beam so again we are interested to find out the slope equation of elastic curve for a b and slope at point b and deflection at point b so we will take we will section the beam at any point between a and b so this distance will be x i will solve it over here so this is the your beam there is a reaction force R A and there is a moment M A layer. There is a uniformly distributed load W layer, and this distance is taken as X layer. So when you section it, there will be a shear force at this point. There will be a bending moment. So this point is J layer. So using a J member as free body diagram we will get the equation of bending moment clear so sum of all moment about point J must be equal to zero so you can see at this point J there is a reaction moment which is counterclockwise so it will be positive now there is a minus M A clear and there is a uh, movement due to this reaction force and it will be equal to minus R A into X. There sum must be equal to 0. So M will be equal to M A plus R A into X. Now you have M A value which is minus W l square over 4 that is mentioned over here and r a is equal to 0 so it means that your uh, okay we have missed one thing r a plus there is this w force so i will write due to this loading that is if we convert it into point load it will be w into x into x over l and it will produce clockwise so minus w x square over 2 if you convert this w into concentrated load it will be w into x and it will be acting x by 2 so w x into x by 2 which is minus w so this will be again plus w x square over 2. So R A is equal to 0. So this term will be equal to 0 and that will be W X square over 2. So total movement will be equal to this minus W L square over 4 plus, uh, plus w, -A -A w X square over 2. Clear? Okay. So now you can use it further to find out the equation of elastic curve as well as uh, as well as the deflection equation. So you can put it in equation e i into d square y over dx square is equal to 
m of x clear so m of x will be equal to this value so you can put it e i into d square y over dx square is equal to minus w l square over 4 plus w x square over 2 so when you integrate it it will be equal to e i d y by d theta sorry dx will be equal to minus w l square x over 4 plus w over 6 x cube plus c1 there so when you in okay we will also use the boundary condition over here so you can see at at fix and at x is equal to 0 theta is again equal to 0 so when you put it so you will get c1 will be equal to 0 so when you put c1 is equal to 0 so this equation will become equal to e i into dy by dx is equal to minus w l square x over 4 plus w x cube over 6 so this is the equation of slope clear okay now we will move forward we will use further integrate this equation clear we'll further integrating this equation will give you e i into y is equal to minus w l, l square x square over 8 plus w over 24 l sorry not l x4 x4 plus c1 x plus c2 now we will also find c2 over here we have second boundary condition at x is equal to 0 we have y is equal to 0 as well so when you put x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 this term will be 0 this this will be 0 c1 is also 0 so c2 will be equal to 0 so put the value of c1 and c2 is equal to 0 in this equation so we will get e i into y is equal to minus w l square x square over 8 plus w x 4 over 24 and if you need the equation of elastic curve so you can divide it on the both side by e i so y will become equal to minus w l square x square over 8 e i plus w x 4 over 24 e i so this is the equation of elastic curve for portion a b for a b now the second part of our question is that you have to find the deflection at point b so deflection at point b means at x is equal to l by 2 i will show you so this is x so to x start from 0 and it is equal to l by 2 so you will get the deflection at point b so at x is equal to l by 2 so you will put it here so that will be equal to minus w l square and that will be l by 2 whole square over 8 e i and plus w into l by 2 whole 4 over 24 e i so it is 24 24 e i you can further simplify it there so you will get the y b there now we will find the slope at point b so slope at point b mean at x is equal to l by 2 
so you can put it in this equation player so you will get the slope theta b i will put it here minus w l square i am using this equation w l square into x is l by 2 divided by 4 plus w into l by 2 whole cube over 6 layer so it will be equal to minus w l cube over 8 plus w l cube over 48 so you can further simplify it so you will get the value of slope at point b so this was all about problem 9.6 i hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching